previously on Hope Falls. But Queenie, you're my daughter! I love you! No, oh, stop the waterworks, Mother. You don't love me. You proved that to me when you broke up my self and... <laughs> not a thing you want to keep in a nursery, is it? No, no, of course not. I was simply cleaning it out. Yes, thank you. You know, I'm going to have Cirque du Soleil come here every other day to entertain the baby. I think it'll be good, don't you? Yes, I'm sure you'll spare no expense to spoil your grandchild. Well, this child is the future of the Montgomery family. Wait. Yes, You understand that, don't you? Of course I do. Uh, I know that being a Montgomery is a large responsibility to you, and there's a lot for you to take on. And now you've sired a new Montgomery that's going to be in this nursery, and nothing, nothing is going to stop us. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come in. 
Hello. It's a voice you haven't heard in a while. <laughs> but I'd know it anywhere. You found my new office. <laughs> <laughs> I own the building. <laughs> my God. You look just like we did when we went to Adventure Riding Camp. <laughs> Except now, I ride for adventure. Well, I'm about to go to Texas to bring a herd out. From Colorado. <laughs> yes. I know it's the time of year when you bring the herd up. It's on my calendar still. I can't seem to take it off. It's strange that after all these years, you keep my herding on your calendar. <laughs> <laughs> it's strange how you keep hurting me. After all these years. <laughs> Why are you here? I wanted to ask you something. <laughs> walk down the street, why can't you come and sit at my table with my family? You know the reason why. I know the reasons why. I don't have to tell you. Why do you make me tell you? Somehow they seem surmountable when you say them. Anything you can say, well, it feels like something we can accomplish. Your mother will love me. <laughs> but my father will love you. We'll be together forever. There. See how easy that was? <laughs> I wish it were that easy. Why can't it be? <laughs> <laughs> As soon as anyone knew, Godwin. As soon as anyone knew, as soon as anyone saw us together. Well, that's not true. My grandmother knows, and she. If she can support us, then. Why can't everyone else? Discreetly. Yes, sir. And don't drop it. But certainly not, sir. It's perfume. Oh. Uh, these are the papers for the new Marshall Fields anchoring the mall. I'll take care of this right away, sir. Johnny. Yes, Mr. Mayor. Would you take a mental picture of her face when you give it to her? Yes, not sir. a real picture. No, of course. Something in your mind that you can relate to me later. That's what I meant by mental picture. <laughs> yes, Your Honor. <laughs> papers are signed. Excellent. I'll take care of that as well. Mr. Mayor, you have a visitor. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> She's already in your office. And she's uh, something, something, and uh, I'm, I'm on my I'm good. I showed myself in. Please. Won't you come in, Victoria? I'm happy to see you. <laughs> if you want this baby to be a Montgomery, then you have to do everything in your power. No! 
conversation at all. I haven't seen her all day. I see. Oh, I should probably go check on her. Uh, let me finish gathering these tools. Oh, why don't you stay and have a drink with me in the nursery? <laughs> see, well, at some point we'll have to move this far as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm planning on spending a lot of time here. A lot of time. How wonderful, Mother. How wonderful. I need to ask you a question. I'm ready. I'm bracing myself on my desk. Are you really that scared of what I might ask? You're the only person that can make me feel an ounce of weakness, and you know it. I remember when we used this desk for writing. <laughs> there were no deals done on this desk. No, but I felt your signature on my heart. <laughs> and I thought you were going to be my greatest acquisition. I can't do quite. I have a question for you. I'm ready. It's my niece. See? comes to a Montgomery, and I One thing. 
but there are certain things about being a Montgomery that I would like to spare my child from. Can you understand that? Wait. No, I don't. Go on and tell me what you mean. Well, this. This lavish chandeliers you speak of and, and, and framed, ornate... Portraits. Oil portraits of one's self. <laughs> Why can't someone with the last name Montgomery still live a noble, meaningful, normal life? <laughs> I'm just worried about her. My son? God with Drake? With your niece? Rosie Montgomery? Don't say it like it's a bad word. You know? You know I've been raised from a early age to say Montgomery like it's a bad word. You didn't used to say it like it's a bad word. No. Occasionally like a dirty word. I thought it was the dirtiest, most magical word in the world. Oh, I'm asking you a favor, one old friend to another. Old friend, is that what I am now? Is that what memories made me? That's what our families made us. Do you not remember how in love we were? We were, back then. Oh, I see. Look. Since Margaret died, I've been struggling with a lot of things. <laughs> My past, the road not taken, choices. This goes on. <laughs> we were young. My mother, your family kept us apart. Yes, they did. What's keeping us apart now? <laughs> what I want. I don't want a gopher hole in the ground full of love and nothing else. No, Calvin, please stop. No. Don't be angry with me. I'm not angry with you. I'm angry with the world. <laughs> <laughs> not for long. I'm going to go. I'm going to speak to your uncle since your father's out of town. And I'm going to tell him about us. What the worst thing that could possibly happen. Nothing compared to being kept away from you. Calvin, he could, he could hurt you. I mean, he really could hurt you. Well, then you'd better try. <laughs> you got a lot of brass to come here and threaten me under my own rotunda. <laughs> you forget, peoples. I knew you when you were nothing. When you were a street urchin without a name, living by the railroad tracks, and my family used to throw loose change at you out the car window. But look what I did with that change. Look at me now. I was born in a garbage heap. Some people are born in garbage heaps, and other people become human garbage heaps. You better be careful, peoples, or you'll end up right back where you Oh, <laughs> 
What are you doing out here? Well. <laughs> I let myself in. I followed the smell of plumage. <laughs> of course I'm wearing it. Would you like to see the mental picture of my face when I received it? <laughs> of course I would. Not yet. Wait for it. <laughs> It'll be worth it. <laughs> Dancing with you. Yes. 
seem far away right now, Sandy. And you're the only one that can call me that. You know my full name is San Diego. <laughs> it's named after the battleship my father was on in World War II. I thought it was because you were so close to the border. <laughs> What's wrong? We're here in our special wing that I had built specifically for you to sneak into. I don't need to sneak anywhere in this town. I want you to have this. It's the key to my office. Oh. You're lying. It's not wonderful, is it? <laughs> what is it, Sandy? Well, it's just, if I have something physical of yours, then well, it means that this is something, something. And you know it can't be. You know that, right? You know it can't be. Do I? Yes, you know it can't be. Do I? <laughs> oh. If you're gonna slap me, it better not be your hand next time. I mean, I've known you my whole life, Rose. I, maybe everybody doesn't know, but those of us that know each other know. <laughs> that brings me a little bit of peace. What is it you're afraid of? Tell me, you can tell me. He's going to tell my uncle, Clifton, and you know what a temper he has. I don't think Godwin Drake has any idea. I'm sure he doesn't. How do you keep a person safe when you're terrified their life might end? I've seen Cliff tear a room apart. I know, I know, I know you've seen the worst of his anger. That's why I came straight to you. In your office, it's always made me feel safe. It's off to herd cattle. He, he won't be back for a couple of weeks, at least. Is that true? That's what it says right on the calendar. Oh, thank goodness. I think I need a glass of water. Please, let me get you a glass of water. Johnny, my heart. Oh, Rose. Here, drink this. Do you feel all right? Should I call a doctor? Oh, Rosie. No. Deep breaths. Do you think he's going to be okay? I forbid you to see Cliff Montgomery! What the hell was he doing here? <laughs> Stop laughing! Well, that worked when I was a child mother, but we've got much bigger problems now. <clears throat> You've already ruined my life by forbidding me to be with a Montgomery. But now, my son God, your precious grandson, is taken up with one of them. <laughs> anymore. <laughs> uh, we're talking past each other and there's something about the air here. <laughs> you're muttering to yourself in the bathroom. Don't think I didn't hear that. Yeah, I don't think I don't know that your mother hit you. Ran into a refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> it's this place, I tell you. Hope falls. Exactly where hope goes to die. It falls and it never gets back up again. I wish you could travel. <laughs> Hope Falls is where we are. It's where this baby is going to be raised, whether or not we like it. It's where this baby will have opportunities, opportunities that I didn't have, and you know that. Yes, of course, of course. Opportunities like a family, which A family like I never had. There, there, don't upset yourself. Put your head on my shoulder. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. I get in that car. Maybe I never get out. You're thinking, is it true that Clift 
took David Santiago and beat him to death with his own right arm? <laughs> You're wondering about the Osborne incident, the fire. You're wondering about a whole host of rumors about my temper and where I draw the line on someone's life. No. I'm just wondering if you're going to make me pay for gas. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. I'll make those parking tickets go away. <laughs> What about the permit? You know, I need the permit for the baby shower. I want to close down the whole town square, Jenny. I want it to be something that the whole town will remember. So they remember exactly the Montgomery <coughs> run this place. We run it. That's for sure. <laughs> all right. I think I'm going to be all right. Come on. Let me drive you home. Sometimes I worry, Johnny. I know what it feels like when a heart races. Why, I even know what it feels like when a heart stops. But I don't know what it feels like when a heart breaks. I do. Were you speaking of Godwin and Rosie Montgomery? Don't act like you're surprised, mother. I'm not surprised. I already knew. How dare you! I knew before you, Queenie. They trusted me. Your son trusted me more than he ever trusted you. Of course. Took him from me the moment I turned my back. One minute he was nursing on my breast. I laid him down in the nursery for a minute and I never saw him for a in ten years. Someone had to look after him. Someone had to raise him as a drake. Oh. Like you raised me, mother, in boarding school. <laughs> I did my best with you. Get over your childhood! <laughs> <laughs> Publishing empire. 
What about driving cattle through town twice a year? That doesn't run rough shot over anything? My family's driven cattle through this town for over 100 years. Yeah, doesn't mean things don't change. Things change! Meep, meep. Oh, hey! Uncle Cliff! God damn it. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Unnatural. Your desire for Ward Montgomery is unnatural. Stop it. Stop thinking of his abs. His pectorals. His long, thin, bony fingers tracing your clavicle. Stop it. Stop it. You're just torturing yourself. <laughs> Cheryl, do us some good. <laughs> uh, sorry, one second. Mr. Mayor! Johnny. Oh. Yeah, hop in. Oh, my goodness. Mr. Mayor, you can take my seat. No, no, it's okay, Rosie. It's okay, please. Looks like you're on an errand of mercy. I'll just walk back to City Hall. It's fine. Sir, there's plenty of room. No, I said, Johnny, it's fine. I need to get some fresh air anyway. Yes, sir, Your Honor. Have a good evening. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. It's not something you see every day. <laughs> Yeah, sure, we were 
Well, we were going up to make out point. We're going up to make out point. Are you familiar with it? Oh, yes, you are, because you're here. <laughs> That's make out point. Oh. Oh, yeah, I'm one turn out too early. Well, well you seem uh, a little perturbed, so we'll get out of your way. What are you doing up here? You're going to go make out, is that it? Yes, I'm Married good. couple? Making out? I've never heard of such a thing. <laughs> <laughs> Some marriages are happier than others. Well, I'm not married anymore because my wife died. I can't say how quickly I want to get out of this conversation. <laughs> Who's that you have in your car there? Godwin. Oh, hey, with. Uh, hey, uh, do me a favor. Make sure that uh, you give that letter to uh, the person it's addressed to. Go on forever. Open the window if you want. Feel the air. This room has the best air in the house. In the whole compound. Wow. It's for my heart condition. Uh-huh. I remember. There were those times at school when you wouldn't be there for weeks. I'd get so worried about you. But there you'd be again. That smile. Do you remember when you came and visited me in the hospital? Of course I do. You wore a dress. <laughs> because you called yourself one of my girlfriends. Yeah, it's the only way they let me in. <laughs> that makes me so happy. <laughs> it sure was funny. <laughs> to talk about. A lot! 
a lot to talk about. <laughs> under the bridge. Here, take our change. It'll never amount to anything. Well, they couldn't be more wrong, could they? Alright, I'm Jimmy Peoples! I'm Jimmy Peoples! <laughs> 